Today's guide video features the other two lovely ladies from Problem Solver 68, Onikata Kayoko and Igusa Haruka. Just like Aro and Mutsuki, Kayoko and Haruka went out to the shrine wearing their lovely kimonos to celebrate the upcoming year. Despite constantly getting into trouble with the gang, Kayoko's eager to lend her wisdom this year. Haruka, on the other hand, went out of her comfort zone so that she could celebrate this special occasion with the girls. As chaotic as it gets, these cute and funny outlaws only wish for prosperity in their handyman business. It's still early. What should we do? Hmm. How about drawing our fortunes? Knowing a bit about the future always helps. That sounds like fun. You better hope you don't get a bad one, though. If Aru gets a bad one, I'll happily give you mine. Don't worry. After everyone's hard work last night, I'm sure fate will smile upon us. Uh, of course, Aru. I'll follow you anywhere. Alright, who wants to go first? I heard that the last row gets the worst, so me first. Here it goes! Ooh, normal blessing! Let's see. Hmm, well, there was that one thing I wanted to do. Wonder if I get the chance. Uh, I'll go next. Here goes nothing. A half blessing. Well, don't think about it too hard. These things aren't really. <laughs> it says I'll be a big asset in my workplace. I'll keep doing my best for Aru. Well, I'm glad you're happy. I guess I'll take mine. Your actions will inspire the best in those around you. I suppose it's alright to put a little faith in these. A little extra luck never hurts. It's great to see my employees being blessed with good fortunes. I suppose I should draw mine as well. Please give me something good to help the business. Please give me something good to help the business. Please, please, please give me something good to help the business. A cat? Hmm. Now then, why don't you come over here and hand that back? Uh, Aru's fortune! <laughs> it looks like your fortune got catnapped! You know, Aru, I heard that if you lose your draw, you're guaranteed great news fortune! Harka, don't! For each section of this video, we're going to discuss Kayoko and then Haruka. Kayoko is a support unit with Mystic and Special as attack and defense types respectively. She has higher affinity indoors while she has lower affinity on field areas. She uses Wolf Segs and Atlantis Medals as a level up materials. At 3 star level 87 with tier 8 equipment and without any stat bonuses, Kayoko has 37,773 HP and 1,833 attack. At relationship rank 20 on both versions of herself, Kayoko gains an additional 83 attack and 1,400 HP. At EW30, Kayoko has 2,682 attack and 48,087 HP. That's an additional 849 attack and 10,314 HP. At her current maximum potential at EW50, Kayoko gains an additional 137 attack and 1,478 HP. Her equipment is composed of a pair of shoes, a hairpin, and an amulet. This build just enables her to have ample HP and some amount of crit and crit damage resistance, since dealing damage is not her job anyway. Her exclusive weapon is her Heckler & Co. E30 pistol that she carries around. Its noise for each shot is not only useful for showing rude clients, but also warding off bad luck for the upcoming year. Demon Roar 
A 2 stars on hand skill gets an additional effect, which extends the duration of all buffs that she gives. We're going to discuss more about this in the next section. At 3 stars, her affinity indoors is increased to SS. Her EW upgrades above 2 stars are merely for additional survivability and a bit more damage. While 3 stars is fine, if you want to utilize her upgraded enhanced skill, then aim for EW40. Let's move on with Haruka. Haruka is a support specialist, which has higher affinity on field areas but has C rank indoors and on urban areas. She uses Mandrakes and Okiku dolls as level up materials. A 3 star level 87 with tier 8 equipment and without stat bonuses, Haruka has 31,043 HP, 3,110 attack, 1,722 defense, and 5,660 healing. At relationship rank 20 on both versions of herself, Haruka gains an additional 107 attack and 1,810 HP. At EW30, Haruka has 4,506 attack and 39,274 HP. That's an additional 1,396 attack and 8,231 HP. At her current maximum potential at EW50, Haruka gains an additional 231 attack and 1,017 HP. In addition, at EW50, Haruka shares 4,029 HP, 173 attack, 86 defense, and 404 healing. Her equipment is composed of a pair of shoes, a bag, and a watch. This set enables her to share a decent amount of HP and defense while giving her ES skill a chance to critically hit. Her exclusive weapon is her Fab Arm SDASS pump action shotgun that is used to eliminate quote and unquote pest and actual pest. Hopefully her pot of weed is still intact after she blew it away. Anyways at 2 stars, her enhanced skill gets an additional effect that increases the duration of all debuffs that she inflicts. Again, more into this in the next section. Similar to Kayoko, Haruka's EW upgrades beyond EW40 are merely for more stat shares and for more damage. If you think the extended debuff duration is worth the investment, then go for EW40. We've seen their stats. Now, let's see why these girls, together with the rest of Problem Solver 68, can tremble the underworld in fear. Well, at least on what they claim. Kayoko's EX skill is called New Year's Amulet, and this skill increases the mystic effectiveness of an ally except herself by 92.8% for 40 seconds. This also grants them the Omamori status effect, which is permanent in nature unless removed by other skills. Her ES skill is the main reason why she is a must-have on all Mystic Armor Total Assaults and event challenges. Because of this huge Mystic Effectiveness buff, along with Kayoko's sub skill, Himari, and Akko, made Ares at EW50 can potentially deal more than 3 million damage against Torment Shiro and Kuro in Urban and Torment Goss on Field. If you think Nexon can finally stop releasing broken supports after streams with Hoshino, well, you're dead wrong. Her basic skill is called Pity Time. And for every 40 seconds, she increases the crit of the closest ally by 39.5% for 25 seconds. This might give us more chances of landing critical hits against enemies with high crit resistance like Gauss and Hod, but the biggest problem with the skill is that it applies to the nearest ally. Considering how frequently we reposition our strikers in Gauss, the one nearest to Kayoko might vary and it can land on the wrong person. Also, the skill animation before the buff applies might take too long, especially if the timing is tight. Her enhanced skill is called a new misunderstanding, and with this skill, her attack is increased by 26.6%. Kinda weird for a support whose only purpose is to use her EX skill and sub skill, but I guess she could help deal some damage. At her 2 star exclusive weapon, this skill also increases her buff retention by flat 1900 or 19%. Buff retention increases the duration of all buffs that she gives and gets. Looking back at her EX and basic skill, the duration of the Mystic Effectiveness buff can be extended from 40 seconds to 47.6 seconds, while the duration of the crit can be extended from 25 seconds to 29.75 seconds. Her sub skill is called Reciprocal Relationship. And for every 200 critical hits landed by allies, Kayoko increases her own attack by 24.9% and she increases the mystic effectiveness of all allies with the Amamori status by 41.8%. Both of these buffs last for 50 seconds or 59.5 seconds with the buff retention. Also, right after this skill's activation, the Amamori status will be removed from all allies. Since this is from a different source, both of her Mystic Effectiveness buffs can stack, and it can total up to 134.6%. This is even higher than Swimsuit Hoshino's EX skill and Minori sub skill combined. Ayoko's skill set is primarily for buffing an ally with Mystic Effectiveness. So, focus on your skills that give such buff. Go for her EX skill first, then her sub skill, enhanced skill for the buff retention, and finally, her basic skill. Let's proceed with Haruka's skills. 
Her EX skill is called Who Approved This? And this skill decreases the crit and crit damage resistance of a single enemy by 41.5% for 50 seconds and deals 345% damage to that target. This EX skill is extremely useful against enemies with high crit resistance like Gauze and Hod, and with high crit damage resistance like Shiro and Kuro. In theory, if you have two damage dealers against Gauze and Hod, you can deal more damage with Haruka than with Himari, considering that you allow your damage dealers to have a higher chance to crit and to have better critical damage. Her basic skill is called Proper Greeting, and for every 30 seconds, she decreases the crit damage resistance by 30.8% of a single enemy for 20 seconds. The crit damage resistance downs from her skills can stack, and it can accumulate up to 72.3%. Her enhanced skill is called Unforgivable, Unforgivable! And this skill increases her attack by 26.6%. At her 2 star exclusive weapon, this skill increases her debuff retention by flat 1900. Going back to Haruka's EX and basic skill, the upgraded enhanced skill extends the debuff duration of those skills by 9.5 seconds and 3.8 seconds respectively. And finally, her sub skill is called All Her Courage. And this skill increases the cost recovery by 20.2%. She's the second specialist in the game with a cost recovery sub skill. Let's take a quick refresher on cost recovery. We're going to determine the total recovery cost of our full team with Haruka. We're going to add all the flat values and multiply it to the sum of the percentage values. Each unit contributes 700 cost recovery. Six of them will accumulate 4,200. Multiply that by 1 plus 0 0.202 and we get 5048.4. That means it only takes 1.98 seconds to generate a bar of cost. That's around 0.4 seconds faster than a regular full team. Aruka's skill set focuses on her debuffs, but prioritizing her cost recovery sub skill is not a bad idea. So go for her sub skill first and her EX skill, basic skill, and finally her enhanced skill. We have witnessed their might through their skills. Now, let's point out their strengths and weaknesses. Kayoko's skill set is pretty straightforward. She buffs your DPS, and then your DPS destroys the freaking game. And funnily enough, there are some mystic units like Hinata, who went from other garbage to an actual BIS thanks to Kayoko. This makes her a must-have support on mystic armored raids. Although she has a few setbacks. Besides her basic skill being unreliable at times, the condition of her sub skill might be difficult to fulfill if you're dealing against enemies with high crit resistance, or if you're just plain unlucky. Not to mention the unpredictability of this skill due to its reliance on the team's critical chance. And also because of her armor type being special, she won't stand a chance against insane Perilous laser. So, plan accordingly and avoid prolonging the fight in the next phase. On the other hand, Haruka is the second unit who have access at a cost recovery sub skill. So, she's an alternative to Himari and swims to Shiroko for better or for worse. Her debuffs are potent enough to counter Gauze and Hud's crit resistance, making her teammates crit more. She's also a decent option against Greg. But her crit resistance down on her EX skill conflicts with Swim Sutsaki's EX skill. Roka essentially inflicts less amount of debuffs if she's paired with other units who debuff the same stat from the same source. And besides, there are far more better specialists in this scenario, like Swim Sutsaki, Minori, Ako, and Himari. So far, Roka is more of a situational unit. Unlike Himari, who could fit in many situations. But Haruka is going to provide you a great service to deal with those kinds of situations. So, in conclusion, are they actually good? Yes, definitely. Kayoko now holds the reputation of one of the must-have units if you're aiming for higher ranks. She's extremely easy to use and getting her would highly benefit your roster. Haruka, despite having a few case scenarios, shines brightly on these scenarios. She's one of the very few units with a cost recovery sub skill. So getting her will give you an alternative if you already use Himari or Shiroko or your previous team. If you're planning to roll on future banners and you have to pick just one of them, I'll go for Kayoko. But as always, if you want to roll for both of them, then go ahead and follow your heart. That's it for Kayoko and Haruka's guide video. We briefly covered their capabilities in their respective roles based on their stats and their skills. So, if you want more Blue Archive content and streams, then go ahead and subscribe now. I also stream on YouTube, Twitch, and Kick. Go check them out. And I would like to thank Ait, Hexy, Reina, Spring Onion, Kai, Yuki, and Rashin for contributing in the production of this video skit. That's it for now, and... J just... Hand... Everyone, back off.
it's clearly not going to give it up. Let me handle it. You carry around a cow tuna with you? Why didn't we do that sooner? Each earnest, hard-working effort you put into your goals moves you far closer to its attainment. Just hearing that makes me feel all the more secure. Oh. Uh, oh? <laughs> it looks all the cage from the last twelve hours had finally cut up with her. It happens. After all, this is our second chase today. Marika, give me a hand. We should bring Aru back to the office. Ah, uh, good evening, Sensei. You're here for your wallet, right? I'll go get it. Sensei, I just woke up! S Sensei's here? Where? Sensei? What's wrong? Uh, eh? 